boys and girls, we are in Lesson 14 of Module 5, and our I can statement is I can use math drawings to represent subtraction with up to two decompositions, relate drawings to the algorithm, and use addition to explain why the subtraction method works. So today we're going to be working on solving subtraction problems, but then using addition to check our answer and make sure that we got it correct. So let's get started. Our application problem for today is that Brianne had, has 23 fewer pennies than Alonzo. Alonzo has 45 pennies. How many pennies does Brianne have? And then the second question asks, how many pennies do Brianne and Alonzo have all together? So if we know that Alonzo has 45 pennies and, Alon and Brianne has 23 less than Alonzo, what is our, are we going to be adding or are we going to be subtracting? Go, we're going to be subtracting because we need to take the 23 away from the 45 that Alonzo has. We're going to use our place value chart to help us solve our answer. And our problem is going to be 45 minus 23. All right, let me switch you over so that you can see my board. So we have our 45 shown on our board, and now we need to take the 23 away. So we take the 3 from the 5, 1, 2, 3, and we only have 1, 2 left. Now we do 4 minus 2, and we have 2 tens left. So Brianne has 22 pennies. And now they want to know how many Alonzo and Brianne have all together. So we're going to add... We're going to add the 45 pennies that Alonzo had and the 22 pennies that Brianne had together. So we have four tens and five ones. And now we need to add five plus two. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we need to add four plus two. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So they have 67 pennies all together. We've read our problem, we've drawn our picture, and we've written both of our sentences. Now we're going to solve some subtraction problems for today. So our first subtraction problem is 584 minus 147. And we're going to use our place value chart to help us solve that problem. After that, we're going to do an addition sentence to check our answer. So first we're going to show 584, so it's 5 tens, 8 ones, and 4 ones. And now we're going to do 4 minus 7. But can we take 7 away? No, because we don't have enough. So we're going to trade 1 ten in for 10 ones. So now we can do, now there's only 7 tens left, and 14 ones, so we're going to do 14 minus 7 out. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven ones, and now we're going to move on to our tens column. So we're going to do seven minus four. So one, two, three, four. We have one, two, three left. And now we're going to move to our hundreds column. So we're going to do five minus one. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four. So 584 minus 147 is 435. Now we're going to check our problem or check our work and we're going to do, we're going to add those two parts together. So we're going to add 437 plus 147 and we, our answer should be 584. So I'm going to draw my 100 tens and ones chart. I have four hundreds, three tens, and seven ones. And now I need to add seven more ones. Let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So that is too much, so we're going to take 10 of our 1's and trade them in for 1, 10. Now we have 4 1's left. Now we're going to do 3 plus 4, we're going to add 4 more, and we have that 1 that we traded in, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now we do 4 plus 1, and we get 5. So does our answer match? Yes, we did it correctly. Nice work. All right, we're going to get ready for another one. And our problem is 637 minus 200. 53. So we're going to have our hundreds, tens, and ones chart again. And we have six hundreds, three tens, and seven ones. All right. I'm going to zoom out. And now we're going to start in our ones column. We're going to do 7 minus 3, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4 ones left, and now we're going to do 3 minus 5, but we can't do that because four, 5 is bigger than 3, so we need to borrow 1 from our 100, that becomes 5, and we're going to have 10 10. So now we have 13 tens. So let's take 13 minus 5. So we cross off 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many tens do we have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tens. And now we're going to do 5 minus 2. We have 1, 2, 3 hundreds left. So five, 637 minus 253 is 384. Now we're going to use our chuck. We're going to do 384 plus 253 equals what? So we have our hundreds, tens, and ones. We're going to show 300, 8 tens, and 4 ones. Now we're going to add 253. We always start in our ones column. And we're going to add 3. So how many ones do we have now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're going to do 8 plus 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, let's count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, it's too many to have there, so we're going to trade in 10 
tens for 100. And we only have three tens left. Now we're going to do three plus two. And we have that one that we traded in. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So does our answer match? Yes, we are all set. We did great work there. And here's our problem set. So for our problem set, you're going to be doing it the same way we just did. You're going to put set up your problem vertically. You're going to use a place value chart to help you solve the answer. And then you're going to check it using addition. Your first problem is 469 minus 170. The second one is 531 minus 224. And C is 618 minus 229. Great work. Make sure you send a picture of your work to Ms. Vu or I. I'm sorry that this video was a little bit later today. I had a whole bunch of meetings this morning and I just was had time to film. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I miss you all. I love you. Bye, guys.